I am Afnan Tajuddin from MarketUpDate.com, your trusted platform for learning about the market and trading tools and indicators. Visit MarketUpDate.com for more. Today I am thrilled to introduce a highly requested feature and a major update to our demand and supply zones pro indicator that will significantly enhance your trading efficiency. Many of you have been asking for a screener or dashboard to scan a stock based on our demand and supply zone strategy. While building a scanner outside of TradingView has always been difficult, TradingView has now introduced a pine screener, a game changer for all traders. However, this feature is currently available only for premium and higher plan on TradingView. If you have an essential or plus plan or basic plan, you won't be able to use it. Let me guide you through setting up this screener and integrating it with our demand and supply zones pro indicator. To access the Pine Screener, it's not yet available directly from the TradingView homepage. You will need to bookmark the Pine Screener link or search Pine Screener TradingView on Google to find it out. Now, before using the screener, we need to create a watch list. Here is a quick method to set up a Nifty 200 watch list. Visit the TradingView homepage, navigate to products, then screener. Then click on stocks. Under the index section, select Nifty 200 to view the top 200 Indian companies. Click on the first stock. Press Ctrl A to select all. Then right click and choose add selected stocks to watch list. Save this watch list as your Nifty 200 watch list. I have already created mine, so let's move on. Open the Pine Screener and select Nifty 200 watch list or any other your preferred watch list. From Indicator dropdown, select Demand and Supply Zones Pro Indicator. Make sure you have already added it to your favorite list. Choose your time frame. The default time frame is daily, but you can adjust it according to your trading style. Open the indicator settings and scroll to higher time frame section. Ensure the higher time frame is set to weekly or whichever you prefer. Next, go up to alert and screener settings section to enable or modify screener options. After making changes, click apply to save your configurations. Once indicator settings are done, in down section, enable alert on demand zone option and set it to true. Finally, click on scan and the screener will analyze all the stocks in your watch list based on your configuration. For example, in my scan, I found four stocks that matched my criteria. Let's open a couple of charts. I have already opened two charts. You can see Max Health is approaching demand zone. Similarly, you can see Bharti Hexa is also approaching demand zone. These stocks are approaching demand zones based on our screener's criteria. Back in the screener window, you will see various columns for each stock. Here is what they represent. DZ represent demand zone. Similarly, SZ represent supply zone. P represent proximal line value. Similarly, D represent distal line value. So, DZP means proximal line value of demand zone. DZD means distal line value of demand zone. Similarly, SZP means proximal line value of supply zone. H represent higher time frame. So, HDZP means proximal line value of higher time frame demand zone. In total, the first eight column display the proximal line and distal line value for both demand and supply zones on daily and higher time frames. To view the additional columns, 
click the plus icon and enable option like wholesale, on demand zone, on supply zone. Then additional columns will be added. If a stock matches the scanner criteria, you will see one in relevant column. For example, on demand zone column, you see one, or in wholesale area, you see one. This represent criteria is matched. If you see one in wholesale area, that means stock currently in wholesale area. If it doesn't match, you will see a dash. This screener integration with demand and supply zone is a groundbreaking feature. And we are proud to be the first to provide this level of functionality on TradingView. No one else is currently offered this capability. I hope this feature streamline your trading process and make it more profitable. Don't forget to visit marketupdate.com for our tools and indicators like demand and supply zone pro indicator. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.